seven and a half weeks and about 52, 53 days, we get to leave Melbourne and go home to Queensland. <laughs> we get to go home to Queensland. I'm so excited. We have to quarantine in a hotel for two weeks, but we get to go home. So we're saying goodbye to my cousin's house. Thank you so much for allowing us to stay here, to have a roof over our head and a place to sleep at night. We're very, 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 very grateful. So thank you very much, Emily, if you're watching this. Love you. Hi, it's just me from the editing room. I just wanted to say a quick thank you to my auntie Joey as well for supporting us through this difficult time of waiting to go home, for driving us wherever we needed to go because we didn't have a car, so to go and get groceries and all of that, and just being there for us, checking in and occupying us through the many weeks of waiting. So thank you very much. We were lucky enough to be able to stay here for, I don't know how many weeks we've been here, uh, probably about five? five weeks since the 29th of September we have been here waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and more waiting so today is the day we finally get to go oh my god it doesn't feel real and I don't think it will feel real until we are in our rooms in hotel quarantine so anyway here is our journey for the way home goodbye Melbourne I love you, but it's time to say goodbye and um, head on to a new journey in life. I don't know when I'll see you. Probably not for a long time, Melbourne. Sorry, sorry. Um, but I'm excited for the future. Goodbye, house. Thanks for having us. Goodbye, kitchen. Goodbye, house. Goodbye, room. <laughs> Goodbye, hallway. <laughs> Goodbye, mum's room. Goodbye, bathroom. Goodbye, toilet. Joey's in there. Goodbye, house. Off to the airport. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see. What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for We're at the airport There is no one at the airport <laughs> It's so weird Makes it really easy when you check in though Because there's like no one here But it is strange there's apparently seven people on our flight. So that'll be fun. It's like riding in a private jet. Good morning, everyone. It's great to welcome you on board here. Pleasure to have you. Welcome back We're on the plane, and there's only six of us on here. It's empty. It's like a private jet but also kind of sad that so many people are desperately trying to go home to Queensland and this is like an empty flight. But we are grateful that we get to have our time.
the sanitize three times, got a fresh mask. I'm in my room. Mum is next door, but they're processing her now. So she's gonna be balcony, balcony. <laughs> Apparently there is lunch at the front door. I didn't hear a knock though, so. Got my first lunch package. My first package in hotel quarantine. Oh my goodness. They give you a lot of water. Oh. Let's see what's in here. I saw the words vegan, vegan. <laughs> I um, called reception and told them I was vegan. Ooh, what do we have here? We have a sandwich, nice. We have, ooh, a nice salad. Love that, some apples and some coffee. Tea, sugar, some biscuits. What is this? Cute little chocolate bar. And what is in here? Oh, more chocolate, <laughs> little biscuits and things. Some tomato sauce, yes. Oh, tomato chutney. A Tim Tam. Not very vegan, but that's all good. <laughs> A lemon slice. And what are these? Some trash bags. And some cleaning supplies. Awesome. This vegan sandwich, really fucking good. Like, really good. I don't know if I'm just exhausted or it's really good. It's got everything I love in it. And mustard. This ain't too bad. Okay, so here is the front door. And when you walk in, there's a bathroom, nice big mirror, and some hand wash there, good size hand wash. And this smells really good, so that's really nice. Then there's a toilet and the bath, shower. And they also have like big shampoo, conditioner and bath gel. So that's really good that it's like a full sized tubs and in the same grapefruit scent and it smells really good. So that's pretty good. I brought my own shampoo and conditioner and all of that, but if I run out, I've got some there. Bath, I don't think I'll use the bath. It's very low. They're both so low, the toilet and the bath. It's so weird, <laughs> but I don't think I'll have a bath. Um, even though I love baths, I just, I just don't know about that bath, but um, nice big shower. So that's good, which I'm gonna hop in soon because I'm so sweaty. And then I have a cupboard here, which I'll need to hang all my stuff up, well, some stuff, put some stuff away. There's like a little drawers there. I've started to unpack some stuff there. So I'm slowly unpacking. And then I've got uh, a kettle. I brought my own coffee and plunger. A fridge in here, lots of water that they gave us. Then a nice big like desk and a TV. I've started unpacking some of my stuff. All of this will go away. My bags that I need to unpack. <laughs> big bed that looks really nice and comfortable. And I love this picture. This picture is so nice. Something nice and inspiring in the room to make me motivated. That's what I have to look forward to when I get out of hotel quarantine. 
bedside tables. I've started putting up some fairy lights, although I don't have batteries, so I need to get some batteries, get my dad to drop off some batteries for mum and I. And then a nice little setting, which is really lovely. Looks out to this beautiful balcony, beautiful view. So that is the gorgeous view, the mountains and the beach. I'm so grateful we have a balcony and I've started putting some fairy lights up here. <laughs> and then mum is right next door on that balcony and she's also started putting up some fairy lights. So at least we have some fresh air, a place to get some nice sun and a beautiful view. Is that dinner? I'm waiting for the knock. I'm waiting for the knock. Ooh, it's the first knock I've heard. <laughs> I, I feel like the knocking is going to be the most exciting thing here in quarantine. <laughs> Where we get our dinner, our breakfast, our lunch, our dinner. <laughs> My mum just texted, texted saying, dinner. <laughs> Yay! Exciting! We got a package. Dinner time! Oh my god, there is so much here. Holy moly! Vegan! <laughs> so, I got some fruit, which looks very delicious. Can't wait for that. What is this? I don't know what this is. I think it might be some pumpkin soup. Yes. I think that's pumpkin soup. And what is this? Oh my god. Oh my god. That smells delicious. What is that? It's a curry. It looks like curry and rice. But actually actually looks like that might be tofu or it could be like a like vegan chicken. Mock chicken. And what is this? Oh my god, what is this? Oh, it's breakfast. <gasps> awesome. Okay, it's breakfast for tomorrow morning. So we have a muesli. Is this, yeah, muesli. Free and low muesli, hot or cold. Here we have some fruit. We have an almond and chop chip slice. Cute. We have a tropical punch juice. And we have some soy milk. I was literally just thinking I should call up and ask for some soy milk so I can have a cup of tea, but thank you. Oh my god. This food looks amazing. <laughs> I was not expecting it to be like this good. I mean, that curry smells delicious. So I'm looking forward to this food, man. Oh, what else is in here? There's something else in here. A little bread roll for my soup. Cute, yum. I've still got that salad in the fridge too from <laughs> lunch. Oh my gosh. I'm having my juice box now instead of in the morning. Because I was feeling it. I haven't had a juice box since I was like a little kid. Tastes pretty good, full of sugar. Um, it seems I've had some kind of allergic reaction to I'm pretty sure the hand sanitizer they make you put on like 10,000 times. Um, hoping it's not the actual hand wash. 
because it's like there too and kind of like you can't really see it but it's sort of like here as well this is stinging on this side um so <laughs> hope that goes down um i hope it's not the hand wash could possibly be the hand wash i like the smell of the hand wash here but if my hands keeps looking like that i don't think i can use it or it could just be the hand sanitizer they made us put on three times today i don't know but it's itchy <laughs> my skin is so sensitive so it uh, doesn't surprise me. Anyways, hopefully that goes. <laughs> oh my gosh. What a day. What a day it has been. I'm so tired. I can't wait to get into bed. I will already am in bed, but you know, lie down and go to sleep and have a good night's rest. It has been an emotional couple of months. <laughs> A stressful couple of months waiting and waiting and waiting I can't believe it took seven and a half weeks just to get to our own home state in our own country it's wild it's crazy but I'm very grateful that we are finally here because even though we have to hotel quarantine for two weeks we get to go home in two weeks to see my dad, to see our animals, my little Rosie and Boots and Winnie, my parents' dog. And we get to be home way before Christmas, which is one thing we were really stressed about. My mum and I, we were thinking we might not get home for Christmas or we might have to be in hotel quarantine for Christmas. It was just awful for it to be so close to Christmas. So by the time we get out of hotel quarantine, it'll be the end of November which is crazy. Crazy that I packed up my house in queue at the end of September and we are not really going to be free <laughs> fully until the end of November. It's insane. Um, but it means that we have a good three and a half, four weeks? Three and a half weeks? I don't know. My brain can't figure it out right now um but we have time to get the house ready for Christmas and get into the Christmas spirit all of our family are coming up to Port Douglas for Christmas so they're all coming to my parents house and I'm I'm living at my parents house for for a while so I have to unpack and get things organized and there's so much to do before everyone in our family comes up my sister and her family so it'll be good though it'll be good to get home and to organize everything and just finally be able to get into the Christmas spirit <laughs> I've been holding it off and that is hard for me because I tend to get into the Christmas spirit at the start of November but I've been holding off <laughs> because I didn't know where we were going to be so now I can start getting into the mindset um but anyway, it's just so good to be here. I don't really agree with hotel quarantine. I feel like there are so many other ways we could handle this situation. Um, but I, at this stage, don't care. I'm just happy to be home <laughs> and happy to have light at the end of the tunnel. So, so far, we are having a pretty good experience. I know that lots of people have had not so great experiences in hotel quarantine, but I mean, it's only been the first half day, not even a full day, but um, everything's been going well so far. Everyone is really lovely. The rooms are really nice, as you would have already seen a room tour. The rooms are really nice, they're clean, they're comfortable. I feel comfortable and I'm so 
so grateful and thankful that we have a balcony. That was the one thing I was like, please, please let there be a balcony because I just wanted fresh air and a place to sit in the sun and just, I couldn't imagine being locked up in a room without fresh air. So I'm very grateful for a balcony and the beautiful view not going to complain about that. In the circumstances, it's all sort of been positive at the moment. Um, obviously weird. It feels like a glamorous prison. <laughs> it's very mixed emotions, especially when you arrive at the hotel. It's like so in your face, like, whoa, I have to go from this policeman to this policewoman to that police woman to this policeman. <laughs> like it's, there's a lot going on. Um, there was army when we arrived too. It was very, uh, I expected it, but also just feels out of this world because I haven't had to go through hotel quarantine before. So it was just, it was, um, an experience. I thought I would sort of explain a little bit, uh, because I realized I haven't yet before I go to sleep. I'm very tired, sorry. I should have done this when I was more alert. Um, but I thought I'd just briefly explain what it was like from the airport to hotel quarantine. There was only six people on our flight, so it was pretty quick <laughs> to uh, get off the flight. And it was a pretty pleasant flight. I mean, there was no one on there. So it was like having a whole plane to yourself, basically. And everyone was really lovely on the flight. And anyway, we got off the flight and then we were met with police who checked your border passes and all your details. So you basically like check in with them. And it was really funny because when we hopped off the plane and I saw the police there, as soon as I turned the corner, I was like, oh my God, I know one of those policemen. And it was my friend Todd, because I used to live up here in Cairns, uh, Port Douglas. And so, yeah, I knew obviously knew he was a policeman, but I just didn't register that he would be there, sort of like to check us in. <laughs> so that was really unexpected and funny, um, but really nice to see a familiar face in that situation. Once you're all checked in with the police, they escort you to go and get your bags. And we had a nice conversation with Todd along the way about what to expect of hotel quarantine. There was about seven policemen there. Um, so basically every single person that got off the plane had an assigned policeman, basically. Even though Todd wasn't our initial signed policeman, um, he took our bags to the bus. So I took a, a photo of him doing that and sent it to uh, his wife, Kelly, which was really funny. I was like, look who's carrying my bags to the bus. <laughs> so that was, that was nice. Yeah, they just put our bags on the bus and then we said goodbye to the policeman, then got on the bus and we came to the hotel, the Pacific. And coming here, that was the most sort of out of this world, strange, like experience, but also it went really quick and everyone was really lovely, but it was just confronting, I guess, is the, the right way to put it. In a sense, we had to get off the bus one by one. And even though mum and I were traveling together, we were going into separate rooms. So we had to do the process separately. They get you to come off one by one, you get your bag. Then you go to this person at the front door who um, gets you to sanitize your hands once, then take off your mask that you're wearing. And mine was a reusable one, so I got to put it in my pocket, but some other people were throwing theirs out. And then we had to take that off, put that in my pocket, sanitize our hands again, <laughs> the second time, take a new mask, which was those masks you've been seeing me wear, um, which they give you a packet of those masks when you arrive. But yeah, I had to put on one of those and then sanitize my hands again for the third time. I was like, oh my God. Actually, that is what I think made my hands break out. And then you wait at the door for your turn. You go in and you stand on the dotted line. A policewoman read out, like, I guess like terms and conditions of 
what you're doing here. Then I went to another policewoman who um, basically booked me in for the hotel room. And I told her my mum and I were traveling together. We want separate rooms. We're booked in to have separate rooms, but is it possible that we have them next to each other? because we wanted to be able to say hello near the balcony and like check in with each other. And she was really lovely. They, all, they were all really lovely. Every single person was lovely. She said uh, that we were originally opposite each other, like across the hall, which we wouldn't have been able to see each other at all because you can't go out of your room. So she quickly went and changed it for us. We were lucky to be able to do that. Luckily it wasn't like, I guess it wasn't like fully booked out. So they were able to put us in rooms next to each other. And she was really understanding. She was like, yeah, of course you can have um, rooms next to each other so you can talk to each other over the balcony. So that was really nice of her to do that. We have our names on the front door um, on this like laminated thing. And so she gave that to another policeman who escorted me onto the uh, lift and took me to my room. And then I came in my room and the door was shut and they said, you're going to be stuck in there for 14 days. And that was the end of it. <laughs> that was the experience. I hope you enjoy these quarantine hotel blogs in my glamorous prison. That's what I feel like calling it. Um, and tomorrow is a new day. Love you all. See you tomorrow.